Yo guys, what is up? It is your manly man, Stanley the manly, come at you with another Smashy Road video. And today I thought I'd do the Beast. How good is it? That is right, I did the Flipper very recently. And since the Beast and the Flipper are kind of in the same category of top tier cars, I thought I'd do do, do an episode of the, flip, of the Beast. So, you guys all know how the series works, how I take a car, like the Beast. I... Look at just stats on the Wiki fandom website. Link in the description of that website. And then, I might agree with those stats. I might not. They're out of 10. And it only has stats on durability and speed. I will make my own stats for turning, handling, things like that. But if I do not agree with those stats, I will give you my own ranking out of 10. So don't worry. You'll still, still get a ranking. Then afterwards, after I've gone over all the stats, I will give it an overall ranking out of 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. And then we'll see how it goes. I will tell you if it's good, if it's worth your 100 cash it takes to spin in the slot machine. And should you use it, should you avoid it. So let's get right into this. The Beast is ranked 10 in durability on the Wiki Fandom website. Link in the description. And I do not agree with that. I think it's more of a 9 because the Tank Shore also happens to be a 10. And this car can just not, it can't take as much as Tank to Shore. And there is no debating it. You just can't. It's still very good. It's still very durable, durable, but not quite as durable as the tank to shore. Therefore, rendering it at a nine. Now, on to speed. Speed. This car is very fast. It is ranked 9.9 .9 on the Wiki Fandom website, and I can agree with that. I think it is definitely at least 9.5, 9.9. I don't know. It's maybe a little bit too high, but that's, I think that's a little nitpicky. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. Because it is very fast. Uzi outruns all the cops, all the enemy cars easily. So, speed, definitely top tier. And I'm going to give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Now, on to handling and turning. This car is considered to have the best handling in the game because it has no drift. And I can see why they say it has the best handling. Because it does turn very fast, it has very good turns. But, there's one thing I do not like about it, and that is, it's too sensitive. Like, it feels too sensitive, at least. Whenever I turn, I just try to do a nice, simple turn. It always ends up overturning like that. And then sometimes, I think, then I'll just barely tap it, and it should do a great right turn. And then this happens. It just doesn't even do anything. So, turns, I'm sure, after I've played for a little bit more, once I've gotten used to them more, then I will get better at turning, but right now for a new player to this car, turning is not the best. It takes a while to get used to. It just with handling in general, very sensitive. The no drifting really just makes it very fast. And I know that's it's a hard thing to complain about, but I'm sorry, the handling is not as good as it sounds. I think the flipper is better better handling overall. Or at least better turning overall. Because it's just a little bit too sensitive, and that's really all there is to say on that subject. Now, onto the special features of this car. Other than the no drift, this car is a beast. It has give you five times coins. That's really good. It's easy to get a hundred coins a game, and that sounds like a lot, but with this car, it's not, because it's very fast. You can easily just stay on the middle of the road. And use those good turns. Once you've kind of mastered them, mastered the right turn with this car, it's very easy to get lots of coins. It's also pretty, um, not it's not very wide, which is very good because not only does it make it easier to get out of the tight situations, like just there, if I had a wider car, I would have got stuck. But it makes it very easy to get into one of my personal favorite places to get coins, the kind of army base. And I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. You, if you don't, then you will once you see it. There's that I can get some gameplay of it here soon. But there's like two little bunkers in there. And the entrance to, the entrance to get into them is very narrow. So you need a thinner car. And using something like the Flipper, Tank Destroyer, it can be a little challenging. But with this car, it's pretty easy. Especially because it has such fast turns. You can easily man maneuver in and out of that place. And yeah, right now you see I have about 3,000 coins. I'm going to do a big 
big ol' opening soon. Probably today, the same day I upload this video. So, look forward to that. If you want me to do like 5,000, leave a comment. If you want me to stick to 3,000, because you think 4,000, 5,000 will just take you long and get boring, I understand. Leave that in the comment section below too. And I cannot leave. Am I gonna survive that? No, dang it. I almost survived that. But, yeah. It's very good for getting lots of coins. Is it the best car for getting coins? It's either this or the flipper. And only because it's just a little bit too, a little bit narrower than the flipper, I'm gonna give this car, say it's the best car when it comes to getting coins. So, thumbs up for coin getting with this car. If you're trying to get a thousand coins, if you're trying to get that new car, maybe you have 89 out of the 90 cars, you're just trying to get that one, that one last car, use this because it is very good for getting lots of coins. Now, for getting high scores, is this the best car? Certainly not. Not the best car for getting high scores because, although it is pretty durable, pretty durable, it is pretty fast, it does, it does eventually, um, kind of, uh, start smoking, and it just, it doesn't have anything like a flipper that can just absolutely destroy cars. Now, on that same note, it is very powerful. It may not have a special ability that, like, kind of helps it destroy cars easily, like the flipper does, or the time machine. Yeah, time machine. I don't even want to talk about it. Ugh, I hate the time machine so much. But, yeah, it is very powerful. It, if As long as you run into a police car head-on when you're going pretty fast, and it's going pretty fast, the police car should get wrecked. And, see, as you saw right there, the SWAT car just got wrecked. But the thing about that, the bad thing about that is, especially once you get into those, like, higher amount of sirens or stars. I don't know, some people have sirens. I have sirens, some people have stars. I don't really know why some people have sirens and some people have, some people have stars. Maybe it's just, if you have Android, you have stars. If you don't, you, you have um, iOS or iPhone, like, Apple, like I do, then you have sirens. But I don't know. If you have sirens or stars, tell me in the comment section below. Because I, I do want to know. Because for the longest time, I had stars. And then it just changed the sirens. And I really do want to know why. So back onto the power. Very powerful car. Especially at the very beginning of the game. Just There's always going to be a police car right here. Just I would suggest running into it. Get it smoking. And then later you can very easily break it. And... I'm already up to 75 because of that brute power this car has. But again, not the best, the very best for getting high scores. I think the tank destroyer is a little bit better, and the flipper too, but this car is the best for getting lots of coins. So that's, that is something that it has. And I believe I've gone over all of the stats. We've got durability, speed, handling, turns, special abilities. Yep, I did it all. Oh, I did forget something. Wait, this car is very heavy. Not as heavy as the tank destroyer. And I think it's a little bit heavier than the flipper. But yeah, it is pretty heavy. And it uh it's kind of it's kind of off and on when it comes to weight. Cause it seems like sometimes I hit five of those cars, five of those oil trucks, and I survive five times my car belly goes up and sometimes I have five of those oil trucks and it hits it and just goes flying like it did right there it didn't really go flying but it flips over so wait it's very unreliable I'm not sure what to think about it so I'm gonna leave that undecided because that's something that you have to figure out because it changes every game it seems like because sometimes that happens where it just goes up and then back down and lands sometimes it's a full flip sometimes it just like goes like, the entire car goes up, but doesn't flip over or anything. I don't know. I would not suggest just running into those tank oil things for fun or when you're trying to get rid of cops, because it's more effective to just kind of weave in and out of them because this car has such good turns. But that doesn't mean it isn't good against the tank blasts. It can very easily survive the tank blasts. They're not going to make this car go flying like it does for some of the other cars. So that's, that's good. That's a good bonus it has. And half my coins are. I'm up to two sirens. And my coins are still 
generating. I still haven't even gotten all the way to the amount of coins I have yet. Isn't that funny? And I think that's kind of funny. Yeah, so, rating. I'm going to give this car 9 out of 10 because it is the best car for getting lots of coins. And probably top 3, top 4, definitely, for getting high scores. It's not the best. It's not as good as the Flipper. But it is very good. If you have it, then definitely use it. And if you're trying to get a lot of coins, definitely use it. And if you don't have it, pray to get it. So, is it good? Yes. I give it full thumbs up to this car. It is great. It is amazing. It's great amazing. But not quite as good as a flipper. But definitely better than most cars. Within the top two or top three, easily. So yeah, that's the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. What do you want my next video to be? And I will see you in the next one.